Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna be talking about 360 degree radar detector protection. Uh, it's actually something that you'll see advertised uh, by a lot of different manufacturers. When you look over the uh, list of features and capabilities of their radar detector, they'll advertise a bunch of different things. And many times one of those things will be, uh, we have 360 degree protection. And that's actually something obviously that's important. You wanna be able to detect police that are not only in front of you, but also you know maybe off to the side or at an angle, or even police officers that are you know driving back behind you, whether you're maybe passing you know under an overpass and he's sitting on an on-ramp and he's clocking cars that are already driving past or maybe you're just driving down the road and he's way back behind you just shooting cars up ahead so you obviously want a radar detector that can pick up police radar from behind right now on top of that you've also got some radar detectors that have not one but two antennas every radar detector has a front-facing antenna to pick up radar way up ahead of you when you know you're driving toward the police officer right some radar detectors have a second antenna like this um, that will actually point back toward the back of the vehicle to help pick up signals from behind. There's also another benefit, like you're gonna get arrows to help locate the source of the threat, right? So how important is it to have that second rear antenna? Is that the difference between picking up radar behind you or not? What's really the benefit? And if you have a detector that doesn't have a rear antenna, are you still gonna get 360 degree protection? Let's go ahead and talk about that. Now, the short version is, Every single radar detector, every radar detector can pick up radar in 360 degrees. I mean, it's kind of like, this isn't a perfect analogy, but it's kind of like you can hear when somebody's talking to you, no matter if they're in front of you or behind you. It's not exactly the same thing, but in a similar fashion, radar detectors can pick up signals, you know, behind you, just like they can in front. They're actually much more sensitive to signals in front, of course, than they are behind, but the fact is they're able to pick up signals from all 360 degrees. Now, what about in a practical sense? Is it gonna be sufficiently sensitive to pick up signals from behind to save you from a ticket? I think that's really the real question, you know? Now, the most sensitive detectors that are out there, the ones with really good sensitivity, yes, if the officer can pick you up from behind, whether he's shooting you from behind, he's stationary or moving, you're gonna be able to pick him up as well. Uh, I have noticed that some of the less sensitive detectors, because it is more difficult for a radar detector to pick up signals from behind, those may struggle. Yes, they can technically do it, but they're not gonna do it very well. Now, let's actually talk about radar detector antennas a little bit because that's actually really important um, as, as far as the way they're designed. Now, there's many different types of antennas in general, not just with radar, but just antennas in general. Some antennas are omnidirectional, meaning they can pick up signals equally from every direction, right? Uh, you have some other antennas which are actually very directional. They're much better at picking up signals from the front than they are maybe from an angle, off to the side, or behind. This is the case with radar detectors. If you've got a detector like this, uh, it has one front-facing antenna, which is actually pretty directional. Uh, it's actually much better at picking up signals from the front than it is from the angle, from the side, or from behind. It can still do it, but it's much better from the front. Uh, the guys of LiDAR actually did a really interesting test a couple years back to help visualize this, where uh, they took a couple different radar detectors and they put them on a windshield on a rotatable mount. So they could drive it towards the source, you know, with a radar detector pointed straight forward, and even turn it at an angle and drive towards the same source and see how much the uh, range was reduced by. Then they plotted it on a map, and it was really cool because you could visualize, you know, how sensitive the detectors are from signals coming in directly from the front compared to off to the side. This actually varied from detector to detector, and it even varied from one frequency radar gun to another. So radar detectors, again, are much more sensitive from the front than they are from the side. They're not blind from the side, but they definitely do have reduced sensitivity. And this is something that you'll see in a lot of radar detector testing is, you know, on axis sensitivity versus off axis sensitivity. I did a whole video just talking about this, but talking specifically about 360 degree protection, yes, every radar detector can pick it up from behind. Now, what about detectors that have a second rear facing antenna like this? You put it up on your windshield and it can pick up signals not only from the front, but also from behind. Well, the Texas Countermeasure Testing Group actually tested this uh, recently. They did a test with uh, you know, detectors that have only one front-facing antenna like this, as well as detectors that have two antennas, one front and a second rear one. Surprise, surprise, um, the ones with the second rear antenna did a much better job of picking up signals from behind. Uh, every radar detector that they tested were, was able to pick up signals from behind, but it comes as no surprise the ones with the second rear facing antenna did a much better job and they were much better at picking up radar from behind but there's another thing that's involved as well radar signals themselves are reflective well not reflective they bounce 
they will reflect off of different objects. Uh, that's actually why police officers use radar for clocking vehicles is because of the fact that radar signals themselves bounce off of other targets. When you're driving towards a police officer, the whole reason why he's able to clock your speed in the first place is because his radar beam is hitting your car and then it's bouncing back into his radar gun, right? Radar signals by their very nature bounce. That's why they're used. Now, why this is important is let's say an officer is back behind you and he's shooting radar. And let's say that your radar detector is unable to pick up the signal from behind because it's much less sensitive from behind, even though it offers 360 degree protection, right? Well, what happens when that signal goes off in front of you? It's gonna bounce off of objects and it's gonna come back towards the radar gun, including into the front horn, the front antenna of your radar detector. What is it gonna be bouncing off of up ahead? Well, uh, it may bounce off of other buildings. It may bounce off of an overpass ahead of you. It may bounce off of a big flat street sign. It may even bounce off of other vehicles that are up ahead of you. So whether it's a car or even a big semi or something, that's a big, huge target that will do a great job of bouncing that signal back behind you and then back into the front of your radar detector. So even though you don't have a rear radar detector antenna, and even though the front antenna can already pick up the signal from behind, the fact is that signal behind you is gonna be bouncing back into the front of your radar detector and helping alert your radar detector and alert you to the presence of a signal coming from behind. So there's a number of different things that factor into it. Now, in order to get directional information to help you locate the source of the threat, in order to do that, you can't do that with a radar detector that has only one front facing antenna. In order to do that, you're gonna need a radar detector with not one, but two antennas. And the idea is when you have it mounted like this, it's actually comparing the signal strength from the front and the signal strength from behind and saying, hey, is the signal stronger in this direction or is it stronger in that direction? I'm simplifying it a little bit because this antenna is more sensitive than the smaller one. But the idea is it's saying, oh, the signal is stronger from the front. I'm going to light up the front antenna or, oh, the signal is stronger back behind me. I'm going to light up the rear antenna or side antenna is not antennas pointing out to the side. That's basically saying front antenna and rear antenna signal strength is very close, if not exactly the same. That is going to be your side antenna. So that's not the police officer is off to the side. It may be, but it's actually truly front antenna and rear antenna are sufficiently similar. So that's your side antennas. Now, people ask about this from time to time and they say, what about if I have a detector that doesn't have a rear antenna? What about a firmware update? Can that come to my radar detector to give me arrows? The answer is no. It requires two antennas in order to compare front and rear radar signal strength. So you can't just do a firmware update to add arrows. Now that said, it can be a little bit confusing because you can have some radar detectors like this that have only one front facing antenna that can also give you arrows. And you're like, doesn't that contradict what you just said? Yes and no. Let's talk about that because detectors like this can give you arrows. It's not when you're detecting radar. It's when you're detecting uh, a signal that's been previously detected with Escort Live. Now, the way Escort Live works, as you guys know, uh, some radar detectors like the Escort ones have Bluetooth capabilities where you can pair the detector with your phone. And as you're driving around, when your radar detector picks up radar, it can take that alert, send it out to the cloud and notify other drivers. And then it can, you know, take a look where that signal is based on GPS, right? And then you're going to get notified of other people's alerts so that when you're driving, uh, you can get notified of, hey, somebody else detected radar up ahead of you and your radar detector will actually point to the location of that signal. As you get closer, it'll actually give you the distance to that signal. And then when you pass it, the arrows will flip and it'll say that radar signal was actually back behind you, which is helpful to locate the source of the threat, right? Now that is something that detectors with uh, Bluetooth capability and this cloud integration can offer even if they don't have that second rear facing antenna like the Max 360 or the Valentine 1. Now this is not radar detection. This is a GPS cloud-based feature that has to do with your location and not whether or not the signal is stronger ahead of you or behind, right? That has nothing to do with radar detection and everything to do with GPS and your location of where you are and comparing that to the location of where the radar signal was previously located. So those are two different things. And it's kind of a source of confusion because people will say, well, I have a detector like this. It's actually showing me arrows, but I don't get what's going on. I don't have the second rear facing antenna. I don't have a Max 360. How am I getting arrows? So it can be kind of a source of confusion. So this is kind of an exception, but not really that I wanted to address specifically. So this is kind of, you know, escorts, escort live compatible detectors that don't have arrows. So like your Max, your Max 2, your IX, your Passport X80, blah, 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 right? So if your detector doesn't have arrows, 
but you have Escort Live support, you can get arrows for the real-time alerts, but not when you yourself are detecting radar, and this is why. So uh, in any event, kind of to summarize things, yes, every radar detector can pick up signals from all different directions. They're going to be much more se uh, much more sensitive just due to the design of the antenna itself, and this is something that uh, radar detector antenna designers can you know manipulate to a certain extent, but radar detector antennas are much more sensitive to the front, less so from the side, and of course less so from behind. If you add the uh, rear facing antenna, yes, that will definitely help with rear detection. It's not necessary, but it will help quite a bit. Um, now, as far as the lower tier detectors, those can really struggle with rear detection. And yes, they can technically detect it, but they'll really struggle in practice. And it's another reason why it's a good reason to uh, get a detector that's got good sensitivity in general. It's not always for having 10 miles, 15 miles of detection range in, in ideal conditions. It's things for when there's terrain ahead of you which is blocking the signal or you want to pick up a signal coming in from an angle or even from behind. That extra sensitivity really can make a difference. Yes, if you get a detector that has rear antenna, a second antenna, obviously that will definitely help pick up signal much farther away. But the thing is to keep in mind with your good, you know, nice detectors, the thing is if the police officer can detect you, you can detect him as well. So definitely something to keep in mind. If he can get him, if he can get you, you can get him. So, anyways, uh, that's just a video talking about 360 degree protection. Yes, the fact is that every detector can technically do it. No, that's not the whole story. Yes, some detectors are better than others, and yes, some detectors that have a second rear facing antenna uh, that can make a big difference in practice. That's not the difference between detecting a signal from behind or not. But yes, that will no surprise, uh, improve the rear detection in general. So uh, I hope that kind of covers the main things as far as 360 degree protection uh, and kind of how all that works. So uh, let me know if you have any questions kind of above and beyond what I talked about here. Um, and yeah, so for those of you guys wondering about 360 degree protection, that's the story on how all that works. So hope that's been helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Happy driving.